Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding fine latest salaries. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called salary with five different columns: employee ID, first name, last name, salary, and department ID. The combined columns employee ID and salary is the primary key for this table. Each row contains employees' details and their yearly salaries however some of the records are old and contain outdated salary information we are asked to write a solution to find the current salary of each employee assuming that salaries increase each year output their employee id first name last name salary and department id return the result table ordered by employee id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have various employees their first name last name salaries and department id and the question says that salaries increase every year and we need to find out the current salary so obviously the highest salary that you have in this table is going to be the current salary so if we look at todd wilson there are two different entries 106000 and 110000 so Obviously, the latest salary is hundred and ten thousand. Similarly, for Justin Simon and so on. So, what we can do is we can go ahead and group by the employee. Since in our output we want all the five columns, so we can go ahead and group by the employee ID, first name, last name, and department ID, and get the maximum of the salary column and alias this as salary to get the required output. So, what I'm saying is from this table called salary. Let's go ahead and group by the employee ID, then first name, last name, and the department ID. And let us go ahead and return us the columns in the manner that we want. So we want firstly employee ID, then we want the first name last name and we want the salary that is basically the maximum or the most current salary so we can do maximum of the salary column and alias this as salary and then finally in the department id now a lot of you might be having confusion that hey we are grouping by employee id first then second level of grouping is first name last name and department id and here we have employee id first name last name and before department id we are having a salary column wouldn't that give a error mm -hmm. okay the thing is remember you are grouping by this right and in select you can return the column names in whatever manner you want you can even return maximum of salary as the first column and then you can have all the columns that you grouped by it does not matter right so remember this is going to select is returning you something keep that in mind okay and then finally we need to order this by employee id as well so order by employee id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is let me just let, okay so our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a difficult question what we basically did was we from the salary column we grouped by the employee id first name last name and department id because we want all the four columns in our output and then we get the maximum salary to get the current salary why because the question says the salary keeps on increasing every year so obviously the current salary is going to be the highest salary that the employee has and then we ordered by employee id in ascending order so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video